with this celebration of the Eucharist. And of course, there's a good crowd here today, and you join at home when you're hearing this, you join in the prayers and responses, because these people here will be leading you, and they will be really involved in making the responses. So now, to prepare ourselves then, to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you were lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you shone on the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you opened to, for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. And today is the beginning of the ordinary time of the year. And so we wear, we wear the green vestments. Green is a sign in the Church of Hope. So we're on the line now on the idea of hope. Hope that God will be with us. And we're starting today on the 10th Sunday ordinary time. So if you have your epistle, you might find that the tenth Sunday in ordinary time. Now, our opening prayer. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Elijah the Tishbite of Tishbe in Gilead said to Ahab, As the Lord lives, the God of Israel, whom I serve, there shall be neither dew nor rain these years except at my order. The word of the Lord came to him. Go away from here, go eastwards, and hide yourself in the Wadi Cherith, which lies east of Jordan. You can drink from the stream, and I have ordered the ravens to bring you food there. He did as the Lord had said. He went and stayed in the Wadi Cherith which lies east of Jordan. The ravens brought him bread in the morning and meat in the evening, and he quenched his thirst at the stream. The word of the Lord. Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes to the mountains, from where shall come my help? My help shall come from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May he never allow you to stumble. Let him sleep not your guard. No, he sleeps not nor slumbers Israel's God. The Lord is your guard and your shade. At your right side he stands. By day the sun shall not smite you, nor the moon in the night. The Lord will guard you from evil, he will guard your soul. The Lord will guard your going and coming, both now and forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad. Your reward will be great in heaven. Lord 
be with you. And Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle. They shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn. They shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right. They shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful. They shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart. They shall see God. Happy the peacemakers. They shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice, be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. This is how they persecuted the prophets before you. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, the Lord Jesus Christ. I notice, my dear friends, perhaps people watching you have not so familiar with the procedures of the celebration of the Eucharist. Just before the Gospel, I went like this. And I went like that. I went like that. I just didn't get no, no, properly. What I was saying, if I'm going to read the Gospel, you're going to hear the Gospel. And so, hey, Get the gospel into your mind. Get the gospel into your words. So you speak the gospel. And then have the gospel in your heart. So when you're doing those things at, at home or watching or when you're in the church, that's what that's not just a sort of a, an action. Do it deliberately. Lord, I'm going to hear your word. May it be in my mind. Think of you. May I speak of you, pray to you, my mouth, and may you be in my heart. As I mentioned earlier on, this is the green time of the year. The priest is reading, wearing green, called the ordinary time. During Lent, of course, what we did, we fasted. Then we celebrated Easter. And we had the whole Easter period, which was a period of joy and celebration that Christ has risen from the dead and brought our salvation. Now, the longest period in the church's calendar is this period of ordinary time, as it is called. The, if you like, we say, the wearing of the green. What should be my thinking at this time? Christmas time, I'm thinking about the birth of Christ. Easter, I'm thinking about Christ's death and resurrection. On Pentecost Sunday, we thought about the coming of the Holy Spirit. Now, the ordinary time is the time in the church year when I try to take the meaning of all those celebrations into my life. So, bringing the, this is the time when we sort of reflect back and think, now, Christ wanted me, wanted me to love you. During this ordinary time, which goes for most part of the year, let me try and work on God's love so I get to know and to love Him more. And I come to Mass and I hear the readings of the scriptures. Right? During this ordinary time, help me to really want to know what God is saying to me through His Word. 
So all the things that sort of the celebration of Christmas and the joy, the penance during Lent, yes, they've got a message. Easter time's got a message. Now, the message is that God's love shown to us through the birth of his son, through his death and resurrection on the, on the cross, through the salvation which he brings to us this time, the green time, the time, ordinary time of the year, is when we reflect on those and say, what benefit have they done to me? Am I growing in my appreciation of the birth of Christ? Am I growing in my life of penance? Yes. Or am I growing in the joy of knowing that God loves me so much, he sent his only son who died for me and rose from the dead and has given me a share in his life through the coming of the Holy Spirit. What am I doing with all those things that God has done for me? And this is the time for the next number of number of weeks, couple of months, more. Let's think about what God's done for us. And let's get to understand and to love more and appreciate more what he's done. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Bread of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Yes. So pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. We say now the prayer over the gifts of bread and wine. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through him you made all things, whom you send as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed to see you come in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and then did willingly into his passion, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And we we'll use the second declamation, the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one through the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Anthony our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to become heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Extend one another to one another an acknowledgement of their presence and peace of Christ to them. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Amen. Lord, I am not worthy that you should end under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. <clears throat> Communion, I'll go to that side, and Ned will come to this side for the people over there.
Mentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. I ask this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Stand now, my dear friends, for our final prayer. Prayer after communion. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.